Welcome back everybody, Arbiter456B, and today I'm joined with It's Buzzer. Uh, go check out his channel, he finally hit a hundred subscribers. Uh, big shout out to him by the way, for helping me on this video. Um, anyway, today we kind of wanted to talk about a few things, uh, some bug issues in Fortnite, um, the thing with the meteorite hitting tilted towers, uh, and just a load of other things. So, um... What should we touch on first? Um, I think we should do the bugs first. Um, the floating gun glitch and stuff. Yeah, so, um... Anyway, uh... You know, you'll be in a gunfight, just in an intense gunfight. Uh, somebody will start pushing you, and then you'll switch from your building thing to your gun. And it'll just be floating there in midair, and you won't have a gun. And then you die because of that. Um can't tell you how many times this happened to me, uh, it's actually happened a lot, like, 10, 11 times now, uh, it really gets old, um, so, we are hoping that Epic Games decides to stop going with the microtransactions for just, just even a few days, just to try and work on a few things, like the bug issues, and, um, building glitches and stuff like that where uh, as you can see one didn't one just happened right there in the gameplay um, we're just kind of hoping that some of these bugs get fixed uh, a lot of other things um, there was actually this one because its buzzer was at my house earlier and he was just playing a game of solos just kind of you know, having a chill game. Uh, he got into an intense gunfight, started building like a madman, as always. Um, he fell out of his base, or he did, the other guy destroyed the bottom, I don't remember exactly what happened, but he fell and there was like this uh, rock formation, like a part of the ground. He didn't build it or anything. And uh, the guy who killed him was shooting him through the rocks so there's either two possible things one uh, the dude was just a straight-up hacker and uh, we didn't really pay much attention to it until we talked about it afterwards or um, it's a major bug that needs to be addressed because um, shooting through the map like that should not be or it's possible. probably just physics I don't know yeah then again it may be the physics and stuff um, so we're really hoping those two get fixed soon. Um, oh, what was the other one? What I want to talk about, um, as he was saying, the bug, bug, the bugs. And um, the thing is, what they're like, um, if they don't fix the bugs, what they do is, if they add more updates, the, if they get more bugs in that new update, the bugs are just gonna pile up, and they're just gonna create a chaos because millions of people play this game, and just it's gonna probably cause the game to crash if they don't fix these bugs. This game can, yeah, it can go downhill. Yeah, especially with, like, the server weight issues and stuff like that. Um, I remember me and uh, Buzzer here were trying to play a game of duos for, like, how long was it? Like, 20 minutes? And it just kept making us wait. Um, at the time, we didn't know what was going on, but now we do. They had to turn off the leaderboards and the, the, the rec your combat record that shows how many wins and kills and time played you have. And for me, actually, the time played, it's not updating for me. They had to disable all that just because they can just go down the servers. And I think the reason for that is they're not updating the game. They're not fixing the bugs. And the bugs, they keep interrupting with the, the matchmaking. And they have to disable the, the loop boards and the combat record to make the matchmaking so you can play. Because um, me and Arbiter, we sat there for like at least an hour or two trying to get into the game. It would just say matchmaking canceled or... It would just put us in a queue for like about like 20 minutes or something, I don't know. But um, it's, I hope Epic Games learns a lesson and they keep updating this and they, they resolve the, the bugs. Yeah, you're, you're talking about the bugs piling up and uh, another game that we've seen that happen too. Um, Halo 5. Uh, <laughs> don't worry guys, I'm not hating on Halo 5 or anything, but it's definitely had its fair share of bugs. Like, uh, I remember this one... Uh, you'd be playing Warzone or Campaign on Legendary or something, and uh, one of the AI bosses just 
wouldn't even like be looking in your direction and it would say that he killed you or something. Um, so I, I understand bugs and stuff, but like since this is a free to play game, I can understand it because it's still in the beta and all that, but at the same time, they're just releasing a bunch of cosmetic items that you have to pay money for, which is pretty much in every free to play game. But at the same time, they're releasing the new updates and suits and stuff, and then you get bugs with those, and those add up over time. And just like Buzzer was saying, after a while, if they pile up millions and millions of people who are playing this, like uh, PUBG got outranked by like 4.2 to 4.3, um, PUBG was 4.2 million, and then Fortnite, like, less than two days later was like 4.3 or something like that. Uh, I don't remember the exact numbers, but you'll lose all of those 4 million players just over that alone. So please, Epic Games, take this into account. Uh, I doubt anybody from your offices are watching, but take it from the bigger YouTubers like Allie and you got T Martin, Hollow Point, um, you got Ninja, he live streams on Twitch and he does YouTube and he should he knows everything about Fortnite, so I think Epic Games should reach out to the bigger YouTubers because they play the game as much as we do. And uh, not even the bugs, like if they keep piling up, not even that makes it wor the worse. They can e even like make the matchmaking like crash. It can make where you just go in a you just you can just go in a uh, for a longer time and the game just can just crash just like the leaderboards you had to disable the leaderboards so that they can just get stuff working and then there's like a match making cooldown this is what I mean I'm just gonna keep building if they don't fix it I think Epic Games is scared because they don't want to lose their fans because they, they need to keep updating the game yeah they so, to, so they're choking they need to fix the updates first then come out with the, the updates because I think Epic Games is scared because this Fortnite is the biggest game right now and they don't want to screw nothing up. But either way, they're going to screw up because it's going it's, it's not, to, it's not resolving anything because people can't play because they're sitting in a queue for some amount of time. And, uh, you know, me and Arbiter, we, we, we wanted to play one night and it won't let us play duos for nothing. So uh, that's what I mean is this is resolving the issues. And, also, uh, Epic Games need to fix it. another bug that I would like to talk on, it's in the gameplay right here actually, um, as you can see I shot that girl in the head like at least two times with a blue pump action shotgun and it did 9 damage, um, and I think that was a glitch with the newer update with the, with the shotgun. I think that glitch is still happening. Yeah, it's definitely still happening because this, this gameplay was from like two or three days ago. Um, so we're hoping that gets fixed because I'm a huge pump action shotgun user. Uh, also, all these gameplays, they're, they're not really anything special. Uh, we did get a victory royale and the uh, new uh, high explosive V2 mode on squads. Uh, as you can see, it was obviously just me and the buzzer here. Uh, but we did win this one. Uh, other than that, none of the gameplays are really too special. Uh, so give us for that. Um, what should we touch on next? Um, I want to touch on a, a little, I know we said, I think you go to Fortnite, please, uh, do not go to Tilted, do not go to Pleasant, do not go to Salty. I know it's hard to get good at the games with all, with all these bugs, you just got to deal with it. Eventually, Epic Games will fix it, but, um, the thing is, if, if Epic Games, they, they fix, like, you reset the recent bugs, and then... Another update for when like season four comes out and more bugs come out. That's what I'm saying. It's just gonna keep adding up. It's just, it's just gonna the game's gonna crash and they're just gonna keep fixing it. Up. Actually, uh, since you brought up season four, I'd like to talk about some. Before we talk about season four, um, make sure you go outside the map. Like, me and Arbiter, we used to go to Pleasant and Salty all the time. We we weren't like we, we we lost every time. I'm not even joking. And we started going pleasant, the snobby, we go to tomatoes sometimes. We go to Wailing Woods. Wailing Woods, Haunted, Hood. Haunted Hills. Ever since we've been going there, we've been getting like top ten every time unless we we choke sometimes first game. Win yeah. first game. We've been winning a lot. I'm like if it wasn't for Arbiter, I wouldn't have so many up in my channel. 
in this one about season four. Um, so there's a lot of season four speculation and all that stuff. Um, a lot of people speculating what the battle pass is going to contain and all that stuff. Um, honestly, I'm just going to talk about what I would really like to see. So, um, if any Fortnite players out there watch my channel and you see this video, um, if you guys haven't played the PvE mode, uh, I really encourage you guys to play it. Because it's, uh, it's a cool, like, RPG type experience, which is, well, I like it. Not everybody's going to love it. Um, but in the $100 edition that you can get, it's like the Founders Pack or whatever, you can get these two Founder Agents or whatever they're called, and uh, basically they look like Samurais, because in the PvE mode you can use like Samurai Swords and all that cool stuff, which honestly I'd like to see that come to battle ground in the battle ground. Right? How cool would that be? Pretty epic. You just use an impulse grenade and just knock it right there. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm, I kind of want to see Season 4 take like a ninja approach, because this one was all about space, and we'll touch on the space aspect of that here in a minute when we talk about uh, Tilted Towers and the whole meteor asteroid thing. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd really like to see it take like a ninja approach, because ninjas are freaking cool. I mean, look at Ninja the Streamer, he's epic. Um, anyway, stop, stop joking. Actually, I've seen a video on YouTube, um, I think Epic Games, like, text Ninja Sim, they're gonna make an outfit, and it, hopefully it turns out really good. Yeah, I, I hope it turns out good as well. But as of right now, my best outfit is the Raven outfit, which I, I bought, got the debuff, it's, it's absolutely amazing, and uh, hopefully they keep making outfits like that. Yeah, I couldn't afford it, so, that's whatever. Um, it'll always be in the store next time, so, I'll get it next time, I guess. Um, anyway, now, uh, into the juicy part of the video, we're gonna touch on, uh, Tilted Towers and the whole space aspect, uh, which I'm sure everybody's covered by now, but I'd like to take my own take at it, um, so I guess we're just gonna jump straight into this, so if you take a look at the battle pass and all that stuff, um, obviously it's very space themed, uh, obviously, um, but there's a few things that kind of align with the uh, battle pass in a way, and the uh, the map and all that, and how Tilted's gonna get destroyed or whatever. Um, well, there's the victory. Um, anyway, back to what I was saying. So you have three different. Uh, emoticons or emojis or whatever you want to call them. The things you throw in the air and they stay there for a second and disappear. Um, there's a T-Rex head, a nuclear explosion, um, a hot dog for some reason, and then obviously you have the space suits and all that stuff. Um, and then you have John Wick, which kind of doesn't really fit in there, but um, I'll take that into account here in a second and I'll, I'll explain to you guys why I think he does fit. Um, not the whole aesthetic of him, but, like, his name and stuff. So, um, if you guys haven't seen it, there was this old Epic Games thing that they did with, uh, developers in Poland or something like that, and that's roughly what the map is based off of. It's based off of Poland or some area in Poland, and Tilted Towers lines up with a place they got hit with a meteorite long ago, and... I'm thinking that uh, Fortnite's map was kind of just an homage to whatever development team this was that they worked with in Poland or whatever. Um, there's also the old game that they made where uh, a blue meteorite, it's blue specifically, it hit uh, a, a city-like area in one of their older games, like way old, like back in the 90s or something. But, um, touching on that, there was, uh, what was it, the, the new telescopes and all that placed around the map, um, there's yeah, a... I, re I remember, like, we were, like, walking around Wailing Woods and we went up this hill and we saw the telescopes, I'm like, what is this? I was, I was gonna say something, but I didn't think I knew what it was until I went to YouTube and saw the little 
light thing in the sky. I'm like, oh, I see why the telescopes are just sitting there. By the way, guys, uh, the telescopes are super good loot spots. Uh, I've landed at them like the past three games and got like a chug jug, a scar. Uh, there's one by Wailing Woods, but it's kind of hard to spot if you don't have a good eye. Um, anyway, back to the uh, the theory or whatever you want to call it. So, um, Tilted kind of lines up with a city in Poland that got hit with an asteroid. Uh, and that's kind of their claim to fame. Um, and then you have the, the 90s game that kind of touches on that as well. And then... Um, Basically, those two things just kind of go together, and then how John Wick fits into it is um, his name in the Battle Pass is called the Reaper, and uh, obviously, if an asteroid hits a planet, it's going to absolutely obliterate everything. It's going to, you know. So, John Wick's name is the Reaper, or well, his skin's name is the Reaper, so I feel like that's how those two mix in together, and that's why he's mainly in the Battle Pass 3. Um, I may be completely wrong. Uh, I may be just a little off. Uh, just speculations. Yeah, it's just kind of speculations at this point. Nobody really knows. Uh, then again, uh, we could just be completely wrong. There's just no way they just put a meteor in the sky and just nothing has to, it has nothing to do with the map. Like, yeah, you see, like, campsites and, and this telescope is looking right at it. Unless there's just something, I guess Fortnite's given something us to talk about, I guess. I don't know. I don't know why they do that, but, um, I get a feeling they're just going to add the story to the battle. Yeah, yeah. The battle royale. I, I don't know if they're going to do that, but, um. Um, so, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, uh, back to season four and all that. Uh, I really do hope they touch on, like, the ninja side of things because that'd be cool I don't know how they'd implement that into like the the story of Battle Royale or whatever they're trying to do with the asteroid and Tilted Towers and all that uh, I don't know how they'd fit all that in but I mean who wouldn't want to run around as a ninja like that'd be cool I also um I know this is like way in the future but um, see, what I want to see and like he's going to talk about like what he wants to see in season four. I'm gonna talk about season five. I know this is like way. In the I want to see like Assassin's Creed suits, like suits like that. I think that'd oh, be yeah. really cool. Like little around Assassin's Creed, not like the copy from Assassin's Creed, but like something like I don't know, just something like that. I think that'll look pretty cool. That's that's one of the main reasons I like the Raven because he has the hood and you can't see his face. So it's kind of like like if if you're a weirdo like me and you like to give your character a certain type of personality like uh right now i'm rocking the rogue agent which i think looks like an odst from halo um i like to think that kind of helps me uh, play better because after i got that suit i just started rushing everybody and uh that's got me a lot more kills because you can ask buzzer i used to completely be trash at this game get like you're, you're feeling the, you're that outfit not just yeah that's not just boring default skin I mean, yeah so what I like about Fortnite is, like, I think about it, like, all day. Like, I can't wait to get home and just play this because they, they update this game every single day. I know, like, outfit, you guys probably think it doesn't change how you play, but yeah, I got a Raven outfit. I was like, I was so excited to play. And today I won my first game on. I got, like, six kills, so I'll be up playing that tomorrow. Um, we got a few minutes here to talk, so um, if you guys want us to... Make any any other videos? Just comment below, like and subscribe, and uh, comment below what do you guys want to see in season four or season five, and uh, hopefully they fix the bug fixes and stuff. So, um, because if they don't, they're just gonna pile it up and just make the game worse, and they're just gonna have to put people in queues and yeah, I, I really want the queues and all that to go away. Um. Anyway, I'm gonna end it right here guys uh obviously there's still a few minutes left in the video so if you guys want to watch the rest of that please enjoy um anyway uh like comment subscribe guys and uh me and buzzer will catch you in the next one peace out peace